jingle them bells and frolic. Oh, by gosh, some stalling. Eggnog, gin and tonic make Yuletide gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. A toast to him, that red nose dear. Jingle them bells and frolic. It's the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. I'm wounded. Hours and minutes till the last week of December. For me, the Christmas spirits flow as early as September. It's the best of seasons. Come and raise your glass and sing. No need for other reasons. Glory to the newborn king. I drink to Santa and his helpers too. Here's to mistletoes and here's to you. Jingle them bells and frolic, come, let's sing and dance and cheer. It's the best time of the year.
Do I have something on my butt? <laughs> Actually, nope. almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter.
Those masks make me nervous. Is there something wrong with their faces? Take a look. I am ready.
alive. Got it. Hey. Yep, I've got it covered. This is making me kind of uncomfortable. Look alive.
place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war.
previously. Hey. Hello there. If I'm not mistaken, you're the gal I've been looking for. Do I know you? I heard your radio broadcast. Sounded as if you were starting some kind of settlement. Is that about the right of it? That's right. Well, in that case, I've got something you might be interested in. Here, catch. It's called an ASAM sensor. If you're gonna be building settlements, these yeah, things are what you want to use. You've made a smart move of using Rocker brand ASAM sensors. Rocker brand ASAP sensors offer the level of versatility and connectability that you deserve. Everyone can have a roof over their head. And there you have it. A fully built home. Not too shabby, huh? Yes. I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. I need you to get back here! Now! Nothing good lasts forever. I'm Captain Wes of the Gunners, and this settlement is now under our jurisdiction. The new beginning for the Commonwealth is near. What happened here? Huh. I was wondering when you'd show up. Jesus, what a mess. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd stop by. Truth be told, you and your partner left quite an impression. But as you can see, he isn't exactly here right now. Who kidnapped him? What makes you think I'd know? Why don't you search around or something? Oh, man. You're not here to perform some kind of revenge killing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. It... It was the Gunners, man. A hidden secret vault. Sure, seems like a good place for the Gunners to hold a prisoner, don't you think? Oh, there, hold it. You're in conscripts, right? Sorry. Who are you? I'm your superior, so mind your tone. Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. I suppose it would be rude of me to turn down such, uh, generosity. All right. Gunners have outposts and compounds like this all over the Commonwealth. This is the largest I've been in. Makes you wonder what they're up to. That's enough. What's going on here? I gave permission to question him, not to tie him up and beat him senseless. I don't need your permission, old man. I'm gonna ask nicely one more time. I didn't ask what it was. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You could have killed me. I said enough. Wes may lead the gunners, but here, I'm in charge. You can't talk to me like- Dismissed. You'll regret this, old man. How do you get past security? You are. You'll address me as Algernon. Now, answer my question. Hey, uh, Algernon, right? Look, we never meant to interfere with the Gunners. This is all a big misunderstanding. Just let me go, okay? We can all just walk away from this. All right, I'll hear him out. Hey, hey, keep your voice down. Don't be embarrassed. Hold it. We aren't expecting reinforcements. Who are you? What are you guys doing out here? Gun and business. I'm reporting in. As ordered. We secured the place as ordered, and we got a technician trying to restore the power. That's about it. I already told you I can't fix anything else until I get the power back on. I recognize that voice. Lupe? Jacob? What? What are you doing here? That's a rich question coming from you. I thought you'd been killed in the Quincy Massacre. You know each other? Yeah, I guess you could say we're all old friends. But hey... I guess that answers that. Um... Oh! I build stuff. I'm real good at that. My dad used to say I could build a gun out of a radio. Or a radio out of a shoe. <laughs> I had no idea Jacob was in Concord. Or that Algernon was sending our squad to his workshop.
Tell me more about this town of yours. Just open the door for me. Yes. On top of everything else. And then, as usual, everything fell apart. About time. The gunners, the squad we were following, they were stragglers from a strike team. They're trying to take this vault. The leader already made it inside. He's the one we think has the comm hub intel. We'll make sure no more gunners get past. You get in there and get that intel. Malfunction in vault door cycling sequence. Please contact your vault tech maintenance representative. Hold your fire. They're friendly. Please, you must help us. The vault is being besieged by Wasteland mercenaries. Too bad you couldn't defend yourselves. We tried to stop them, but there were just too many. Up there, look, in the Overseer's office. We have to save her. Oh shit, you gotta be kidding me. What are you doing here? Do we know each other? Avoid at all costs. That's what the higher-ups said about you. You know who I am. So tell me, what are you doing here? I'm just doing my job. Maybe we could come to some sort of arrangement or something. <laughs> An arrangement? With a gunner? What could possibly go wrong? Entrance is secure. Vault security can take it from here. Oh, God. You're Aiden McTavish, aren't you? You're here as well? Captain Algernon, too? What? Shut up. Look, I don't know nothing. Get out of here and don't come back. Let's try this right here. See if we can't gather some more. Sarge! I'm tired of lazy ass radio, dude. What the hell? Wait, what? What? Fuck, wait, who, who is that? That's Berman. The one who took your comm hub to Wes. <laughs> Damn that Berman. He's the embodiment of everything wrong with the gunners. Unwittingly, Berman let slip exactly where he's moved your comm hub to. He always was a loud mouth. Everything's ready. It's time. All right, then. Let's get you up to speed with our plans so far. As you obviously know, we're gonna be attacking the plaza. We need to get inside, find the comm hub, and deal with any gunners that might try and stop us. But, before we can do that, we need to take out one of the plaza's external defenses. That being a minefield that surrounds the entire compound. Before we can attack, we need to deal with that minefield. Already way ahead of you, fancy pants. But delighted we think alike. The minefield. We detonate it. Whole thing, all at once. And if the gunners follow standard procedure, they'll attempt to neutralize the attackers using mini nukes. Then, boom! Nukes hit the ground, set off a chain reaction, blows every mine in the field. That's pretty ingenious. It's a good plan, right? But I'll have no part in this. Well, all right then, let's do this. Hey, keep your eye on the plaza. You won't want to miss this. <laughs> Looks like the gunners took the bait. They're firing! Nukes inbound! Damn! Cover your eye! All right, pad's clear. Let's move out! I have some questions first. I suppose there's no harm in answering a dead woman's questions. Who were you before all this? Ah, you want to know who I was? Same person I've always been. A survivor. I believe you've got some of mine. My pistol. Hand it over. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Just shut up. I'll admit, that was some fireworks show you put on out there. I know why you're here, but I won't let you take it. 
Your pub is too important to our work. I'm just here to take back what you stole. It's hard to steal what was never yours to begin with. And if people like you would just stay out of our way, and let us finish what we started, the Commonwealth would already be on the brink of restoration. Your meddling ends here. You did it. Oh, we did it. We defeated the Gunners. Did we put on a good show? <laughs> you better believe it. I'm amazed everything went as well as it did. We just dealt the Gunners a serious blow. One they may never recover from. Hmm. Yeah. You're right. Ah, uh, it's you. We can expect some peace and quiet for a while. But don't go thinking this is the last we've heard from the Gunners. Oh, hey. I'm just looking over the comm hub. Sure, it's nice to see it again. How's it going? Surprisingly, the com hub's in pretty good shape. And I could be wrong, but I think they may have upgraded so, it. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce what we've dubbed the com array. Well, all hail to the chief. Maybe now we can get something done around here. We wouldn't be able to start a real headquarters without it. If this Mansfield is willing, we should definitely bring him aboard. Sorry about the main roads. Never ends. Hi. Ah, hello. It's good to see you again. Welcome back. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? Are you perhaps hiring for some sort of deputy overseer position? Well, I accept. I'll begin packing immediately. Um, hello? Well, hello to you too, darling. I got so distracted by Aiden, I forgot to tell you about your pit boys upgrade. Stop right there. Well, better late than never. So, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a fully functional two-way pit boy radio. Could I see a hat wobble? The bargains now? Yes. Is he here yet? No, not yet. Ah, that must be him now. Hey! Over here! Uh, hello. Nice to meet you all. I'm Mansfield, former deputy overseer of Vault 81. Yeah, we know. Uh, oh, right. Of course. Um... Are you all right? You seem kind of tense. Oh, it's just being outside the vault is all still rather uh, new to me. It's all right. We'll work on this together. <clears throat> you there! Yeah? Congratulations, you're a janitor. Grab a broom and get cleaning. Oh, okay. There, you see? That wasn't so hard, was it? I'm gonna start assigning roles, I'm taking charge of security. Hey, if Aiden gets security, then I'm calling head of engineering. Slow down. It's not a competition. Assuming you're both qualified for those positions, that should be fine. Uh, okay. Huh? Hey. Oh, it's you. We have a situation developing, one you should really be made aware of. We've had somewhat of an outbreak. An illness that's been going around the HQ's personnel. It's not too serious. No one's died. Yet. How exactly did this happen? I suspect it's due to the influx of staff. Lots of people in a confined space breathing the same air. It was bound to happen sooner or later. We often had similar problems in Vault 81. A single person has a cough today, the entire vault has it tomorrow. What exactly are we looking for? As previously mentioned, somebody with pharmaceutical training would be ideal. I know someone that might be able to help. I believe we've come to the same conclusion. You speak of the Nightingales, yes? Are you the brave soul building up towns with those pre-war gadgets? Yeah, that's me. That's exciting. I've been hoping to meet you. And here you are, wandering right into our humble... Right, I lost a bet. I owe that dead robot a cannibal. Uh, 
I figured Fiona would at least a week before sending in a rescue. You don't get the hell out of here, and are you kidding? There's more of you? Keep talking to her like that, and I'll shoot you myself. Doesn't look like the bastards along for this world anyhow. The machine is not the important part. You can't simply take matters into your own hands when things are moving too slow. If you're important, look at the injection site. After all these years, I should hope I have a steadier hand than that. Unless you also wish to accuse me of becoming old and rickety. I didn't mean... I'd be glad to help if I can. Downstairs. <laughs> ah, there you are. The flu has been banished from our little fortress, and our gentle Lupe has been kind enough to get the vaccines out to the surrounding settlements. That's one illness you'll see much less of out there. That fact alone is a massive step for the common good. <sighs> I find tangible progress refreshing. I look forward to whatever comes next. What's our next move? My personal recommendation is to not wait for outbreaks. Instead, get us to research other vaccines as a preventative measure. But if you have other projects in mind, tech, meds, weapons, chems, then my team is at your service. You've done good work. We should be all thanking you for making this possible, not the other way around. But still, your words are appreciated. Hey, Slick. Good to see you. The new antenna parts are working exactly as we hoped. Thanks to the improved bandwidth, settlements are already receiving the benefit. We're getting crystal clear signals from all our ASAMs. The Commonwealth is thick with derelict signals, old and new. You may just be jumping to conclusions. I'm telling you, Lupe and Mansfield heard it too. We can't all be wrong. Tell me what's going on. Oh, darling. Thank God you're here. Let me get you up to speed. This is what we heard. Here, listen for yourself. Over. Spearhead command! This is AG-1 lead. Could have AG lead. Mercs and civic contractors are being coached on regs. Now damn time. We need that manpower just to take back the plaza. Never mind re-securing the Commonwealth. Not again. That voice. Was that who I think it was? Berman? Berman? You mean that gunner that stole the comm hub? You didn't kill? When we took the plaza, I went along with your little mercy plan. But I never expected you'd be so stupid as to let that guy live. I'm sorry I let him go. That was a mistake. Never mind about that. Did you hear what they said? They're coming back to Boston. Strike convoy, conscripts, and contractors? Those gunners aren't just coming back. They're returning with an army. An army? What are we gonna do? Moving an entire army is no small feat. I dare say there's plenty of time for us to prepare. I can't believe this is happening! Everything was going so well! Believe it. They are coming back. 
and I doubt they'll be content with just a skirmish or two. We can expect a full-scale war. Well, darling, it seems we'll all be relying on your leadership yet again. Don't worry, we'll take care of the Commonwealth together. If you're wandering the Commonwealth and listening to this, the name's Fontaine. When I was on my way to set up shop in your neck of the woods and offer y'all some mighty fine goods. Don't but some mask-wearing thugs decided they wanted a full discount. Happy hunting. <laughs>